Hello! Here is another e-learning tutorial from dacanane.com. Today I've got to start with an apology. The format of this tutorial is in portrait format. This is so because of the way that today's app Bitsboard works. There's no way around it, so sorry once again. Anyway, on to the app itself. Bitsboard is a great tool for early years educators or for special needs or ESOL teachers. In this tutorial I'll show you how to create your own bits boards, download pre-made boards and how you too can share the love by sharing your boards with the Bitsboard community. If I click on the catalogue button when the app opens I am presented with two choices of boards to search through, popular choices and popular boards. Here I can scroll through a huge range of boards created by others and are available for me to download. To scroll through the choices I just swipe from left to right and to select and download I click on the cloud icon on each choice and confirm that I want the board. The My Boards option here at the top of the screen are boards that I have uploaded to share and at this stage I've not shared any. Whilst the array of boards available to download at no extra cost is impressive, the power of this app is that I can make my own boards tailored to the exact needs of my students, true differentiated learning. Moreover, the voice they will hear will be mine and not one that has a different accent, inflections and spelling. To create my first board, all I have to do is to click on the home button and this is where I can see all the boards that I have locally on my iPad. To create a new board, I just, just have to click on the large plus sign. I want to make my own board, so I'm going to choose the bottom option. At the top of the new screen, I can give my new board a title and then click on the plus sign to make my first tile on my board. The editor appears and I can select where I want to get my images from. I browse to the image I want and select it. Then in the text option I type in the appropriate word and finally click on the red record button and read the word aloud. When finished I click the stop button. To move to the next slide I need to click outside the editor and then repeat the process. I continue to build up my board, repeating this same process until I have all the tiles I need on it. It pays to have prepared all the images before this recording process happens, as it makes this part much faster. So what does Bits board look like for students? I'm now going to use my Shapes board to demonstrate a couple of the activities. What I really like about this app is the ability for my voice to be used as a prompt to aid student learning and how the same boards can be reused in different activities. Repackaging like this keeps the activities fresh for the students. But the thing I really really like is the scoring that the app keeps for each activity. Now this really plays into how I like to use iPads for learning, namely layering different apps together. With this score facility here the students can then screen capture their scores and using an app like Photobabble, record and share their learning via this other app. If you want to learn how to use Photobabble, click on the link here to the tutorial and learn how to use it, and use them both together with Bitsboard. It's no wonder that this app has been voted Educational App of the Year. Which particular year, I have no idea. But it's good, and it's one of my staple apps that I use when I work with teachers in the younger grades. But this tool could just as easily be used in language classes. By clicking on the gear icon at the top right of the screen, I can edit how each of the activities will work for my students. This enables me to tailor the activities even more to meet the specific needs of the students who I want to use the app in any given teaching session. To change the features of any of these activities, all I have to do is to move the sliders to suit my needs, and I can test the effect on each activity by clicking on the large play icon at the top right of the screen. I can then test my results by doing the activity and then return to the sliders should I need to make any further changes. Now that I've begun to create a range of fantastic boards that cover key learning points for my students, backed by epic images, I'm feeling the urge to share the love with the wider Bits board community. To share any of my boards, all I have to do is to again click on the gear icon at the top right of the screen and then click on the share icon. To share it is simply a matter of selecting the tiles ready for upload and clicking on the done button. Deleting those early test boards is easy too. Whilst in the same screen, click on the trash can and click on the appropriate X's to delete. When happy, click the done button. 
That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more e-learning tutorials. So until the next time, keep practicing!